I was young, I don't think uh, free skiing was it. We didn't really know anything about it. That didn't really exist. So not in my world, um, not in Australia, that's for sure. I became involved through contests. That's how it was my kind of first point of entry, was watching a free skiing, actually the Red Bull Snow Thrill. To me, you know, it brings a lot of happiness. You know, I just love that, those moments when I don't have thought going through my head and I'm just in the zone just doing, just skiing. And it's, that's where I really get my rush from. of being a free skier well there's obviously avalanches um, I've experienced one myself we went into this area that we were really uh, had been looking at before when I went um, it ripped on my third second turn I got her, she's rolling, she's on top. There she is. She's moving. I had no control at all. And it's a, it's a feeling I don't really want to experience again. I've had a, a setback at the end of winter. I got, last winter I got injured. I got taken out on the piste. Every injury, it has that point where you can't do a lot, you're really kind of trapped. At the Red Bull Training Centre, I do a bike test and I'm doing yeah. a lot of work with the trainers and the physios. You know, it's a really good place when you're coming back from injuries to kind of build, build the foundation that you're going to take um, into the winter. Here it was a cartilage damage which, yeah, he took out a little piece of yeah. it and now he did some microfracture. The first couple of months after an operation there's not much you can do but then when you start moving around without crutches and you start getting out on the bike when you start and then when you start doing all these sports again all of a sudden I get this like ah oh, kind of this uh, really good feeling. If you interviewed me maybe four months ago, I don't think I'd have such a big smile on my face. But you know, that's just how it goes, you know. And you've got to be honest with yourself as well. I would like to do some descents and it's, you know, just come back strong and be progressive. That's something that keeps me motivated in my sport is to be able to push myself, be out of my kind of comfort zone. The next winter I want to do a honeymoon project with my husband who I just married, he's also a professional skier and I'm, we're planning to go somewhere whether that be Alaska or Canada. We're going to uh, do a little film story, film trip. The future is about something you can have dreams and goals and um, it's still continuing on to be a really cool journey.